If you like working with SVG images for your website, then you will be happy to know that within Brizzy, there is an option to activate SVG. We'll talk a little bit more about SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, in case you don't know what that is or whether you should be using that. Go into the WordPress administration and to show you where that is, in the sidebar on the left, go to Brizzy and then to Settings. And the first tab here says Enable SVG Uploads. One word of caution before you click here and say Save Changes. This is not reversible. I've tested it. If you deactivate it later, it will still work with SVG. So just remember that. Question one, why is it not enabled by default? And you will not find that the case in any WordPress setup. To bring in SVG within WordPress, you either need to install a plugin or the theme you are using allows you to do that. Or in this case, like Brizzy, a page builder will allow you to do that. Many page builders out there will even warn you. There will be a warning that pops up and tells you, hey, be careful, there are some security risks with SVG. What does that mean when I tell you there's a security risk? Well, SVG is a code, it's a formula, it's an algorithm. It's not a picture, it's a formula. And because of that, you can put and inject code in there that may be harmful to your site. So it's always important that when you bring in SVGs, it comes from a reputable source or you created it by yourself in any platform like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, any of those instances. When you bring in those SVGs, no problem, you know they are safe. I'm going to enable SVG uploads and click Save Changes. And the underwhelming experience is that there's no hurrah or crowd cheering when you do that. All it means is that from now on, when you work with images, you can also bring in SVG images. I go to the front end, and what I want to do is bring in a small little icon down here of a watch, just to show you how this will work. To do that, I'm going to show you the difference between a PNG and an SVG, and I'll use this website called Flat Icon. It's one of the websites that I like to use for my icons. I'll type in here called watch. And then let's find a watch here. This one over here, that's nice. And I'll choose this outlined version. So what I'm going to do is that I will grab one PNG to show you because PNG is very similar to JPEG, right? It's just when you work with an outlined image like this, PNG is preferable to JPEG because it will be much, much smaller. But I'm going to use a very small icon. So from this drop down, I'm even going to choose 64 pixels. That size should be enough. And then I'm going to also choose an SVG, but I want to fit it nicely on my site. So I'm going to use that yellow. I grab my color picker, click on the yellow and copy that code. Goodbye. Come back here and I've got the option over here to make some changes to it. So. Here is the black color selected. And over here, I'm just highlighting that code and paste the yellow in, and it will update in a short while. Let's see that. Okay, click on download. And now I have my PNG at 64 pixels. I'm going to download that and download also an SVG for that. Let me just close this bar so I can have new stuff in my bar. Click on the PNG. It's going to download and it will say number three because I've already downloaded previous versions of that. And then the SVG, it will say number one. Don't worry about the numbers. That one says PNG, that one says SVG. You should know two different files. Go back into Brizzy and let's edit our page with our good friend, Brizzy Builder. Makes me think of a guy that works at the hardware store, right? Bring in the builder. Now, like I said, there's nothing here to announce that you're going to be using SVG. You're just going to do that with image functionality wherever they may be, like in the image element or backgrounds for columns, etc. I bring in an image element and drop it down here. And I'll reduce the size to begin with. Then let's bring in the PNG. I'm going to upload this one. This is the PNG, bring that in. Let's click on that and then go to height. Make sure that's at 100% so we can get it full. I'm going to reduce it a little bit, make it smaller. There, and let's align it to the left. 
So there I have maybe a little icon. I can put it at the top or somewhere else on the page, or I can put two columns and put it next to some text. Let's duplicate this one and then click on the second one, delete that, and this time I will bring in the SVG. And I will say select. And what have you got there is to duplicate images. Absolutely, visually, no difference. If I update that and I go and show it to you on the front end, you are going to be, well, not surprised or not impressed at all. There they are. Let's close it. So why on earth would you want to use SVG in the following case? I brought in that PNG and I downloaded it somewhere. Let's say my client tells me he wants to have a mega big image of that watch over there. He wants it to be maybe in this column. Let's say the client wants to bring it in over there so I can drag it up there. Click on the image and make it nice and big. And let's take it like so. If you look very carefully at this image here, you are going to see that it's very blurry. Even though it did a very impressive job, in my opinion, for a 64 pixel PNG to upscale it like that, that is impressive. But let's duplicate it and don't get lost. The one at the bottom, I'm going to click on this. Where is that? Click outside, click inside, it's at the bottom. And then we take this one out and we bring in that SVG again. You see it says there SVG and it will bring it in at the same size. And let's have a comparison between the line resolution here and the one over here. And that's the key in the word SVG, scalable. An SVG image can be upscaled unlimited, I guess. The algorithm allows for it to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas with PNG, you will reach a limit where there will be deterioration in the image. And with JPEG, it will be even worse. That is one reason people love using SVGs, because you can scale it ad infinitum. But the other reason is the size. So if I were, let me show you. Let's click again on the image. And we go into our media library. Now this one here is the PNG. If I click on it, you can see seven kilobytes. That by itself alone is extremely small. But if this were a very big PNG, it may be quite hefty. On the other hand, that one that's the SVG that we scaled and we scaled and we scaled it, one kilobyte. And even if you scale it that big, it will remain one kilobyte. That is extremely small. And that's one of the reasons why people love using SVG where they can, especially in terms of icons. If you don't know anything about SVGs, I would recommend leave well alone. Stick to your JPEGs, stick to PNG. But if you have interest in it, go and do a little bit more exploration. Go and check out websites. A lot of these stock websites like Flack Icon, FreePick, they all offer a lot of vectors. So every time you hear the word vector, that is what the V stands for, you will be most likely able to download it in SVG format. If you're like me and you like using SVG, this is a very nice feature within Brizzy WordPress for both the free and the pro, and it's already included in Brizzy Cloud for those of you that use Brizzy Cloud. We have full tutorials here on Learn Brizzy that will help you to get better at both the WordPress plugin for Brizzy as well as Brizzy Cloud. Check out our latest tutorial on Brizzy Cloud Free, where we make a one-page site for your consulting business.